What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this Shabbat evening. I'm doing real good myself. I come across this particular story right here, and it is appalling on behalf of the son who pulled this uh, shit with his own father. Let's check out this video, and then we'll get into the commentary. New at six tonight, a Coweta County father tells deputies he confronted his son about having a gun in his pocket. And he says rather than turn it over, his son opened fire on him. It was all caught on the family's home security camera, as you saw there. Uh, Fox News' Doug Evans has more on the story now from Coweta County. Deputies say the surveillance video starts with Mario Clark leaving his father's house, the father behind him pointing a weapon at his son. The father then flinches, ducks, and runs for cover after a shot is fired in his direction. Deputies say the family shootout started when the 26-year-old Mario Clark arrived at his father's house with a gun in his pocket, a gun his father did not want in his house. So the dad saw the imprint of the gun, which is an outline of the gun, in the son's clothing, and uh, father did not want any firearms at his residence, uh, or the son to be in possession of them, so he was trying to disarm his son. Deputies say when Clark would not surrender the gun, the father retrieved his own weapon. Deputies say the video continues with Mario Clark running back into frame, sprinting toward his father and firing shots. They say the father returned fire in an obvious fight for his life. The father then called 911. Our patrol deputies were able to make contact with the male outside of the residence and were able to detain him. He still had the firearm on him at that time. Deputies say the father acted in self-defense and is not facing charges. Not so for his son. Mario Clark was booked in here to the Coweta County Jail on a charge of aggravated assault. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Mario Clark, for God commanded, saying, Honor thy mother and father, and he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. Dude, you are in danger of getting your life taken. That shit you pulled was not right at all. It was wrong on so many levels. Let me tell you something. You violated your father's rules when he asked you for that gun. All you had to do was peacefully leave his house. If you didn't want to relinquish the gun to him, leave his house. See, but you want to pull gats and shit and bust caps at your own dad? Yeah, because you, you are in danger of dying the death. Judgment is coming for you. Just so you know. See, the thing is this. I'm telling you. When I was coming along, me and my father did butt heads a few times on several occasions. I'm going to say a few, just say a few occasions in life. But, you know, uh, I know that my father loved me and I would never do what you did to your father. See, a child is supposed to be a blessing from the wound. You see. But you... You are a curse, cuz. You are a curse. And those of the other ones that are like you, you are reprobate in mind, soul, body, and heart. You see? Now, it's good that your father wasn't shot, but it's too bad that you wasn't. Because that shit you did, man, was irreprehensible you know that no you don't ever fucking do no shit like what you did there see this is the way i am if i can't get along with my parents that's with anybody it ain't gotta be just my parents i stay the hell away from around them you see i stay from around them then that way i never open the door for something bad to happen that i may not be able to live with the rest of my life see Regardless to who's wrong or who's right. That's just the way it is. But see, that's the way it is in this day and age, man. You know, you got these uh, young ones, the younger ones. With a cold heart. Very selfish. They don't give a damn about nobody or nothing else but themselves or what they want. And will violate your rights to get what they want. 
I just wanted to say these things simply because, you know, rather than get into the story with the video already at showed us, you know. Uh, yeah, Mario Clark. You better repent for this shit right here. You better get on your knees, number one, and ask the Most High to forgive you for this transgression right there and, and pray that he does not send quick and swift judgment on you for what you've done to your father and you better go and ask your father to forgive you. Because you're walking on thin ice, boy. You were walking on thin ice and subject to break at any damn time if that shit you pulled. You're not alone for this world. I'm going to tell you that right now. You better change your fucking ways, man. This is for your own good. That was some punk ass shit you just did, man. On the real. And you're so fucking eager. I just don't understand it. To want to bust caps at your own people when well, you got another race of folks hate your goddamn guts. But you never seem to go and confront them about all the fucking wrong and atrocities that they've done to you and your people and what they're still doing. But yet and still, you're looking at your own folks with hate. And you doing it literally at your own folks, your father. I'm tired of motherfuckers like you, man, running through the community. You ain't no help, you a hinder. Better repent, boy. Hellhounds is on your trail if you don't. That's all I got on this one, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, your videos. I mean... <laughs> Your opinions on it, excuse me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out.